Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Arbitrum, um, your daily updates on Arbitrum. I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, Arbitrum right now is not doing that that great. I mean, the thumbnail is a little bit clickbaity, but it is the truth. It's, it's how I look at it. Um, Arbitrum has, up until yesterday, been very, very bullish. I mean, I think yesterday we were, when I did the analysis, it's the one hour time frame. So it's, um, it, it, it messes with my brain a little bit. Usually um, my analysis, there are, there are only a couple of candles in between. Uh, but here yesterday, you can see that we were still testing that 1.43, 1.45 level. And I think I said that, all right, we, we have dropped down now. If we can reach 1.45 again, then we're probably going to break above that as well. And what you can see from yesterday morning on, um, is that we started making, even though it's on the one hour time frame, so it's not that definitive, but we started making lower highs. Um, the 28 EMA is no longer our support, 50 EMA is no longer support, so there seems to be some sort of a reversal going on, which by the way, in my eyes is not a problem. I think um, kind of short term, we're still going to get an arbitrum rally. It, de it, it depends on the market though. I mean, if Bitcoin crashes, we're not. Um, but I do think if the market just is stable, that Arbitrum can get some sort of a, a big rally. That's just usually what happens after um, after new coins, especially off of this um, this size, get launched. Um, but all right, let's um, before we dive into more of Arbitrum, because I do have more to say about that. It's not it's not definitively bad right now all right uh, but before we get into the rest um if you want to receive daily trading signals soon also signals on arbitrum hopefully um then check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment and there you'll find instructions on how to join all right so now let's uh, let's get to arbitrum it's weekend today for both for those of you who don't know for those of you who are new uh, who came to my channel by these uh, arbitrum daily updates saturday usually doesn't move that much um, it depends on if something happens, of course, but usually not a lot happens. And then Sunday evening, uh, Monday morning, more uh, things start happening. Uh, volume, volatility gets into the market. Um, so it's waiting for that a little bit. You can also see right now volume is still very, very high with Arbitrum, but it's it's dropping. And altogether, um, technically right now, I'm not expecting a huge crash or anything, but as you can see, um, our main support level, well, practically yesterday, was this entire level between 1.35 and 1.3. And we gave up 1.35 as a support right now, but we still have 1.3. And you can also see this very uh, short and tiny uh, gold line. That's a 200 EMA. That's a very strong level. You can also see, I mean, this, this level is a, is, is a bit weird because you can also argue that that's still part of the level, but that just makes the chart pretty ugly. So let's delete it. Um, all right, so right now you can still see that 1.34, 1 uh, 1 1.35 is really, really strong and important. So if we want to be bullish still, uh, we need to break above that. Do we have that chance? Yes, I think off of this level right here around 1.3, 1.29, I think from there we will actually get some support. And I, got, and, and I think we have a chance to break above 1.34, 1.35. Given the market structure, I don't think it's the most likely scenario. I think it's more likely that we'll drop down, uh, drop down there and then continue dropping at least down to 1.24, 1.22, this area. And then from there, hold that as a support, consolidate and start moving up again slowly. Um, but there is a chance, and that's what I, what, what I needed to tell you about, that from there we will actually be able to break above 1.35. If that happens, I will count that as a massive bullish, bullish uh, confirmation. And I think we got a pretty big chance of actually getting all the way up to 1.5 from there and, and continuing our uptrend. So that's a possibility. As I said, I don't think it's the most likely scenario, but um, it definitely is a realistic scenario. So I felt like you needed to know about that. Um, but yeah, that's basically my uh, my full thoughts on Arbitrum for today, for, uh, for, for today and tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow with another update, I think, as well, kind of uh, uh, heading up to the ne next week. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care. And bye.